Hello Year 2, this is English Lesson 2. In today's lesson we are going to use our ideas from Lesson 1 to write a poem. Our poem doesn't need to rhyme. My favourite colour is red. I'm going to use the colour red to describe, to describe items that are red and put them into a sentence and create a poem. Um, apples are red, so we could say red is the crunchy, juicy apple. If we leave the sentence like this, red is the crunchy, juicy apple, that's a bit boring. Where did we get our apple from? Hmm, we could have picked it from the tree in an orchard. An orchard is where fruit trees grow. Red is the crunchy, juicy apple that I picked from the orchard. What else is red? Bruce's ball is red. Red is the ball. That's a little bit boring. Red is the ball. Red is, what does Bruce do with his ball? Does he catch it? Or does he chase it? Or does he run after it? Maybe we could say, red is the ball that Bruce chases in the park. There we go. Red is the ball that Bruce chases in the park and my full stop. There we go. Red is the crunchy juicy apple that I picked from the orchard. Red is the ball that Bruce chases in the park. What else could be red? How about a fire engine? Oh, let's write that down. Red is the fire engine. Let's move it down slightly. We know that's not good for us. We know that's not the best that we can do. Hmm, what is this fire engine doing? It could be attending an emergency. Here we go. Red is the fire engine racing down the road to attend and emergency. Right, there we go. I have written three lines with this poem. Can you write more? I bet you can. See if you can write at least eight lines for, the, for your favourite colour in your poem. And remember, it doesn't need to rhyme. And don't forget to upload your poems to Tapestry. We really enjoyed reading all your work and all, and all the English pieces that you've been doing.